Hello my cuties, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I got this cute bang. <laughs> so if you're interested, definitely stay tuned. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and join the family. And without further ado, you guys, let's jump straight into it. Alrighty, let's jump straight into it. So this is the packaging that the wig comes in. I absolutely love it. And inside the box, we have two times two wig caps. So essentially four wig caps and the star of the show the wig of course this is a 14 inch lace front wig and i absolutely love this wig you guys i will list all the important information down in the description box so don't worry about it if i'm not mentioning all the important information right now it will be listed down below and this is how the lace looks i just wanted to give you guys a close-up and it is a little lighter than my skin tone um but i love the fact that the knots are very thin and that it is pre-plugged so it still is easy to melt in um if i just add a little foundation then boom okay but yeah i just popped it on right now i haven't done any customization to it and it's isn't it weird how different i look like it's the craziest thing but anyway So I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace off camera. There's literally nothing to it, you guys. You just take a pair of scissors and cut off all the excess lace. And that's literally about it. And as you guys can see, I was having a jam session. Like, I was going in. Okay, girl. All right. <laughs> if you guys actually want me to do a playlist, which is something that I've never done, let me know down in the comment section. Alrighty, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and section out the hair that I want to use to create the bangs. This part is so important because you don't want to section out too much hair, but also you don't want to section out too little hair. Like, you just want to section out the right amount of hair so that the bangs looks nice and natural. But it is more so a preference thing, so do whatever rocks your boat. And I'm just going to go in with my hot comb because the wig was not intended to be in this particular style. So it is going to take quite a lot of manipulation to actually get the hair to lay the way you want it to lay. And as you guys can see, I'm cutting the hair right now. And a quick tip, don't cut the fringe too short from jump, you guys, okay? Because it will end in tears. <laughs> it will end in tears. Um, rather cut it as long as possible and just work with it and trim it as you see fit as you move forward. Because once you cut it too short, you guys, there's no take backs, okay? So keep that in mind if you do want to turn one of your wigs into a bayang, okay? Alrighty, you guys so before we wrap up the video um i just wanted to like tell you guys what i did to actually get it to finally cooperate because as you guys saw like in the video the hair was just flying all over the place and i think that's just because like the hair is very very soft so i think it was just it still has a lot of like 
static electricity or whatever so it just did not want to lay flat so i decided to use this l'oreal alviv uh, styling mousse i don't usually like using mousse on straight hair um unless like, i absolutely have to but this mousse is amazing like it, the hair is not crunchy or anything and i mean you wouldn't really say that i use mousse so that's what i really like about it um and yeah like i just use that so that i can weigh the hair down so that it wouldn't be as like it wouldn't have so much flyaways especially like on this side i don't know what was going on i just think the hair needs more training to get it to lay this way because obviously it was manufactured to be a middle part you get what i'm saying so yeah that's all i did to get it to look this way and um yeah like i'm really happy with the final results i will say like i wish i hadn't like sectioned out so much hair for the fringe but overall like i'm really happy with it i actually don't understand why i haven't been wearing a fringe wig all this time because in high school you guys when i tell you this was my spillion like i literally used to wear a fringe all the time every day because i just didn't like my forehead i guess i just grew up and i uh, came to accept my forehead and really love it so i always would hide my forehead with a fringe but i really like this like i i think i'm gonna be wearing this for the remainder of winter i feel like this is such a cute hairstyle for winter but it's also like a cute hairstyle for for summer because it's a bob you know what i'm saying so yeah and in terms of the wig and the hair itself i am absolutely in love with this hair you guys like stiff way stiff way <laughs> the hair is so soft um it has a lot of movement which i like it is like it's very easy to work with except obviously this part which was like it had a lot of flyaways but i like i said i think it's because the hair is so soft and it was not it was manufactured to be a side a uh, middle part instead of obviously uh, a fringe so yeah but like i said overall you guys i'm really happy with it there wasn't a lot of shedding um obviously this is like my first time actually wearing the wig so like i, I mean I, I can't really speak on that but so far since i've been working with it there hasn't been any shedding whatsoever which i'm really impressed with the hairline is actually amazing i actually showed you guys in the beginning like the hairline was so amazing so even if you actually decide to wear the wig as it is like i feel like it's still a good option because the hairline is pre-plucked for you the lace melts easily so that's what i really love about this wig like i as you guys know like i literally always rave about wigs that are easy to style easy to melt like i don't want to have to struggle to get the wig to look as natural as possible you get what i'm saying like you all know it's not my hair but at the end of the day it don't need to look like a wig period you know what i'm saying so um yeah like i'm gonna give this company 10 out of 10 you should definitely go and check them out they've got really amazing hair and different varieties of hair so yeah like i'm really really impressed and i hope you guys try it and if you do please let me know how it goes like the fringe that is and yeah thank you guys so so much for watching uh, please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it of course uh comment share subscribe all of that jazz and i can't wait to see you in the next one